Hey, it's me, Lucas Ross, CFA, CPA, and Realtor. In Seattle, we're going to transition from a, a new building environment of townhomes and row houses to condos and apartments, okay? And the reason why I say that is because, principally because of the HALA upzone that's happened and the changes that it's made to unit density and height restrictions, okay? So I'm gonna, we're gonna explore the low rise zones of Seattle, because that's where I think the, the change is most pronounced. So LR1, LR2, and LR3 are descending uh, the low rise zones as they get more dense, okay? So height limit, uh, for LR1 was 30 and it remained at 30. For LR2, it went from 30 to 40. For LR3, it went from 40 to 50. Okay. So now what happens is, so these, these, these were always townhomes and basically were, these were always townhomes too. People have been building townhomes on all of this stuff almost exclusively, right? Um, but what's going to happen is it's going to move to apartments. So here's the apartments unit density. So LR1, it used to be you could only build one apartment for every 2,000 square feet of lot area. So if you had a 6,000 square foot lot that was on LR1, you could only build a triplex, right? Now that same size lot, 6,000 square feet, they've removed this, this unit density. So it's gone to, you know, unlimited density. So now if you have a 6,000 square foot lot, instead of building three apartments, you can build you know, probably 20 somewhat comfortably. So obviously that's going to blow the lid off of what you can do with apartments on LR1 lot. Okay. So here I'm also, I'm going to go to this height, height limit right now. So like, let's say your height limit was 30 feet back in the day for LR1 and LR2. Okay. In every single instance, they were pretty much building townhomes because that gives you a three level townhome and that's a very comfortable height for a townhome, right? Uh, very, very every, pretty much every townhome you've been in is probably three. Some of them are two, two levels, but mostly three, three levels. Now, when, when the height limit goes up to 40 feet, do you just add another level and keep building townhomes? You don't. Typically, no, because that fourth level it takes so many steps to get up to that it's just not very usable, you know? So typically, you would just not build a four level, uh, townhome. You would just keep it at three levels. And then you would just throw away that, that 10 foot, uh, height limit that you're just not using. Now, as a developer, your job is to maximize the vet, the value of every lot that you're developing, right? So it should hurt your soul to just throw away 10 feet of buildable height. So what you might end up doing is it might change the equation where you end up doing four levels, but instead of building a townhome, you just build, you're just building four levels of apartments. Okay. Now the way this breaks out is like, so we're looking at, let's say this is LR2, right? Going LR2 was 30 feet and now LR2 is 40 feet. I don't have the best handwriting. So what you're going to end up seeing is that on a lot, like let's say a lot is just, and I'm just throwing this out here, 50 by a hundred, right? And back in the day you could build, let's just say you could build four townhomes on this lot. So you get four townhomes. Well, you could instead build the same kind of building envelope, but just build micro units. And you just, and you could have four apartments with circulation in the middle. And then you have four of those times four. So you have 16 units. Okay. So you can either have four townhomes or 16 apartments. Well, a lot of times the, uh, the equation is going to tilt you towards building 16 apartments. And, and so I keep saying apartments, apartments, apartments. For the city of Seattle, apartments are condos as far as the land use code, okay? Uh, what the difference is, is the ownership structure, right? An apartment building is owned by one uh, entity, whereas condos, it might be the exact same building appearance and everything, but the ownership structure is different where each condo can be sold off individually and owned separately, right? So anyways, if you, if you walk through all of these changes, the, the conclusion that you'll draw is what I've drawn, which is that you're going to see a lot less townhomes being built and a lot more apartments being built. I think that is a, 
you know, just a natural uh, result of the, the changes that they've made to the height and also the unit density restrictions. Hopefully this is helpful for you. LucasRoth.com is my website. Check out my videos there and have a great day. Thank you.